All right, for DIY project number 12, I built this module right here, the Synthratech Quadrangle. It's a DIY kit for a quad function generator. You can see there are just four um, functions or envelope generators here. Uh, I actually built this kit uh, over the 4th of July weekend. So I built the, the it's, there's two boards in there that are stacked. I built the first board on July 3rd, the second one on July 4th. Uh, so I'm a little late making this video, apologize for the delay. But um, this is a really, really cool module. And I actually played with one of these at KnobCon, what would that have been, KnobCon 6 uh, in 2017. Uh, I played with one of these. And um, anyway, it's it's actually a pretty, a fairly easy kit to build. I mean, like I say, it's a very dense circuit. It has uh, envelopes or function generators tend to have a lot of resistors um, and things like that. So it's a very dense circuit, but actually pretty easy to follow instructions, pretty easy to build and it's really, really powerful. Um, so what you have here is essentially you have four envelope generators. Uh, we can use uh, pressure points here to send a um, gate signal and down the right side here we have a gate in, envelope out, gate in, envelope out, gate in, envelope out, so on and so forth, so on and so forth down. So if I give it a gate, you can see that the envelope uh, invokes, oh, ha, <laughs> should plug into the right one. That's not the trigger, that's the, uh, Voltage, excuse me, try that again. There we go. You can see that the envelope will invoke, it will rise and then fall. And then this is the interesting part about the module is they cascade. So you can see what happens there is when that one hits its end of cycle, it will start the next envelope and so on and so forth. So if I, like for instance, uh, change the decay time on the middle one, or on the second one, you can see how that affects the, the string there. Um, then this, it has, Two, uh, three different modes, it has the AR mode, which it's in now, where it responds to the gate. So if I leave the gate on, it stays until I drop the gate. It also has a trigger mode, or what they call an AD mode, where it doesn't matter how long you hold the gate, it still fires for the same amount of time. So um, then of course you can control each of those. It also has a looping mode, where when I put it in the looping mode, you can probably figure out what it's gonna do. Now you notice it's not cascading all the way down. That's because it just doesn't have enough time before it's re-triggering itself. So if I make that longer, there we go. Then we start to see that and shorten this one. And we start to see what's happening. Additionally, it has a sum out. So you can see what's happening there. It's just summing all of them, which really is a nice modulation tool. If you don't want the normaling, all you have to do is break a gate. So like if I go to here, you can see that it'll only normal through those two. If I do here, then it's not gonna cascade at all. Um, so very powerful little envelope generator uh, can work in a lot of different ways. Another thing that's cool is it has this uh, one time or loop switch, which you're thinking, hmm, that does seem like it's looping. Well, that is obviously true. But what this, what's cool about this is if I flip this to one time, or excuse me, to, to infinity, it's obviously, I gotta go to here, it's going to loop it's going to just keep looping now that it's got that. If I go back to one time, it's going to stop as soon as it hits the bottom. So that's actually kind of cool. Now, if you give it another gate, of course, it's going to go do what, it, do what it's supposed to do. Um, now, if the gate's in there, obviously, it's going to stop when it comes back around. But here's what's interesting. If I put the gate in this one, and if I am in one time mode, it's only going to cascade through those two. If I go to loop mode, it will cascade through all four. So that's kind of a cool tool you can use as well. Um, even if you start down here, if you're, in, if you're in loop mode, it will always cascade. Of course, if you do something like this, you're only gonna get those three, you'd never get. And there goes the synth cat right through the frame. Anyway, um, so that's kind of a powerful little tool, kind of a fun little envelope. Um, let's work up a quick patch here to kind of show what this thing can do. Um, if we take, we have a sample and hold here. So let's take our sample and hold. We'll take our sample and hold out and we will plug it into the one volt per octave of an oscillator. We'll take the sine wave out from there and go into a filter. We'll take the filter, low pass out, go into a VCA. We're making a very simple uh, synth patch here, of course. And we'll take the envelope out from that first envelope and we will plug it into the CV for the VCA. Um, then, Let's take and hit this one on a loop and we should, we should get sound. 
What did I do wrong here? Oh, ha! <laughs> Plug in the output module, dummy. So you can see we start to get Now, the problem is we're not running at the same speed, so if we take the end of cycle from the envelope and plug it in to clock the sample and hold, then every time the envelope fires, we're going to get a new pitch. Now, if we take a couple LFOs and we control those rise and fall times with the CV jacks, we immediately start to get kind of a Krell effect where it's changing the pitch every time the envelope cycles, but it's also changing the length of the envelope by modulating the rise and fall. So you get this kind of unpredictable organic thing. Now, if we lengthen these, we get some sci-fi sounds. It to sound like an old 50s sci-fi movie or something. Anyway, that's the quadrangle from Synthrotech.